It's about 6.30 on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, it's been a horrible day today. Uh, we've actually been out on exercise. We were out on a call out last night. Um, we had an exercise which started at 6.30 this morning. So we've been out in the cold and the rain for pretty much most of the day. Got absolutely soaked through. Um, came back down and chucked all my stuff in the wash. Uh, only to find out that we've got another call out now. Um, so I'm in all my old gear, uh, but at least it's dry. Uh, we're looking for two people who seem to be lost right in the middle of Kinder. Um, I think they went to do a um, like a loop of the plateau. Uh, they've gone up to the downfall and then inward from the downfall. And the conditions were just horrendous up there today. So uh, they say, I think they probably got lost en route. Uh, apparently the, the gear they're wearing isn't brilliant. So I, I was pretty cold up there, so they'll be freezing. So we're trying to get up there as quickly as we can. The, we've sent uh, a dog team up and a couple of parties have gone ahead of us. We're about to do a kind of sweep into the plateau. We're going to go right into the middle through all the worst, muddy, horrible bits. Um, and then hopefully we'll pick them up at some point. Um, I think I think things will be pretty bad for them right now. So we're going to try and get up there as quickly as we can. But uh, it's going to be a difficult job. We've tried to sarlock them, which is um, where we send them a mobile phone text. Um, when they receive that, they reply to it and it takes the GPS signal off their phone and gives us their position. No luck with that at all. Um, it looks as though we either can't get their signal or they're not, not picking up the text. Um, and apparently we've only got about 20% of their battery left, so you know it's not looking great. We've actually got four teams out. There's ourselves, Kinder team, and there's also Glossop, Edale and Buxton teams coming in from four different sides on Kinder. The idea is we all sweep across the plateau and we kind of hopefully end up in the middle. Um, but the faster we do, this is just literally a case of getting boots on the ground, um, trying to get it, the ground covered as quickly as possible and just tick bits off to say, right, they're not in there, let's go look somewhere next. So that's our plan. We're about to head up there now. Um, it's dark, it's wet, it's cold. Um, this is Mountain Rescue. So we were just about to get ready to go out. Um, just heard on the radio that uh, Search Dog Dolly, the handler Nick, um, who set out probably about half an hour before us, um, they've actually managed to get a find. Um, they've done really good again. Dolly's been fantastic. Um, right in the middle of the plateau. Uh, I think without Dolly, this would have been a really, really long job. It's still going to be significant. Um, these two people are stuck in the middle of the plateau. Uh, one of them's lost a boot, which this happened a couple of weeks ago to a different casualty party. Um, so I don't, know, I don't know why it's happening regularly. Uh, but anyway, we're taking um, one of our guys has got a pair of wellies with him, so we're taking a pair of wellies on to try and help them. Um, it looks as though, as they've started to walk out, that um, one of them is really struggling. I think he's got severe cramps in his, in his legs. Um, so it looks like this may turn into a stretcher carrier, which is going to make the process a heck of a lot longer. A um, couple of our teams have just gone up ahead of us, and they're now taking the stretcher out from the top of Edel Cross out into the plateau to try and meet up with the guys who are walking off. We're going to go as the last party up there, catch them up once they're walking back with the stretcher, um, and then we'll just give them a lift. Um, just extra, extra hands on the stretcher. Um, and then, uh, it's one of those things that it's so difficult ground that takes as many people as possible. So the more people we get up there, the better. So we're just going to head up and help out. Uh, hopefully we'll take over as soon as we catch them up. Cross, um, and we're going to try and head out and uh, see if we can catch up the casualty party. They're walking off now, um, we just need a bit more resource, I think. So, we're going to head out into the dark, uh, try and find them somewhere out there, and then we'll join up with them and make our way back.
so you can probably see the conditions are pretty awful tonight. Uh, we've now met up with the casualty party, um, they're walking the guys off. Uh, the guy in the wellies in the shot um, is just one of the casualties. Uh, they were just lost, uh, got caught out in this weather in the dark. Uh, visibility is absolutely shocking today. Uh, but we're just walking them back to the Land Rovers, they're down at uh, Edel Cross, so we're only a couple of hundred metres away now. Uh, we'll get them in there, drive them down to Hayfield, get them warmed up in the base, and then we're just going to recover ourselves and get everything dried up. Cleaning up, putting the gear away, washing the Land Rovers. It's about quarter to eleven on Sunday night, so we're just trying to go home. Stop for work tomorrow. Uh, one thing that the um, casualties did leave us <laughs> was his spare boot. <laughs> one of these is now on the, somewhere in a big pile of mud in the top of Kinder, and the other one's with us. <laughs>